family in two countries. Um, this is primarily for people like myself that have um, a child or children back in their home country as well as uh, a child or family in the Philippines. The, the fact is um, it can be very very difficult um, because it doesn't matter where you are, there's somebody that's still missing you where, where you're not. Um, and it's important that you keep an engagement open. Uh, sometimes you're going to have uh, difficult arguments. You're going to have situations that you can't control, but you'll still get the blame for anyway. Um, but the most important thing I will say is don't get in arguments. You need to just take it take it on the chin because at the end of the day kids don't understand um even if you're dealing with an ex-partner back in your home country the generally um can be difficult uh over time though you'll find they mellow out um they just have to <laughs> i think they they just get tired of arguing or whatever or maybe they realize that they have some responsibility for whatever happened, etc. But the ultimate thing is they do change. Um, I remember a guy that was paying over five thousand dollars a month in child support, yet the ex's lawyer had so much control over his finances that his business was suffering because they were deciding whether. This expense was a personal expense or a business expense. And if you dealt with lawyers, they don't do it today. They don't do it tomorrow. They do it when it suits, which also means your business suffers because you can't pay your business expenses, even though you financially got the money. It's got to be messed around with by these third-party parasites. Um, to the point that you just called it a day and left and went to the Philippines. Um, it took a couple of years, I think, but his wife eventually come ex-wife, comes ran to the conclusion that, uh, from my personal thinking, that she realized that she, she took it too personal. Um, what I mean is she financially tried to destroy him um, because the relationship broke down, rather than seeing the big picture that destroying him financially destroyed her financially. Because once he was in the Philippines, he didn't have to pay anything. Um, but also, he couldn't afford it anyway. You know, he couldn't afford it in the U.S. because of the way she, her lawyer was just uh, attacking the business all the time. So, who benefited? The only was only one person. That was the lawyer. Um, and that's why I say don't get into arguments. You, like I say, you'll get blamed for stuff. It's just take it on the chin. Don't worry about it. That's part and parcel of life. But the main thing is that you do remember birthdays. You do remember. Um, you do remember the important things, Christmas and things. Even if you can't be there, it's more a case of making sure they have cards, presents and stuff, um, and making that effort. Um, there are things I regret purely because of uh, not being able to do everything I wanted to do. But at the same time, I couldn't have changed it. So... Yeah, you'll get the blame for some of that stuff. But like I said, you've just got to take it on the chin and go with it. But also, if you're in doubt about moving to the Philippines and leaving children behind or whatever, um, I'd have a sit, sit down and have a serious think. Um, you've got to think of the children's happiness as well as your own. Um, because, yeah, you don't get on with your ex, but... Is it going to have a worse impact if you left? You know, is it going to affect your daughter or your sons or whatever? Or is it going to have very little effect because you've got such a horrible ex that you struggle to get access to see your children anyway? Um, and then your well-being is then more important because you cannot um, have that engagement that you want to have. But at the same time, similar scenario... Um, I know a friend who had a, that situation, uh, went to the Philippines because his ex was just bitter at the time. 
but a year later, two years later, um, she wanted him to start having the children. Was it because they had that distance? I think that was part of it. But also the realization that she'd actually forced him to leave the country. Because um, financially she was crippled in him as well. But she was also stopping him seeing the children. So he's paying for uh, the support of children that she was denying him access to. But once he was away, A, he didn't have to pay the support. But B, she started to see the fact that she'd actually driven the father away from the children. Now they're actually on talking terms. <laughs> um, so, lots of things to consider. Even if your kids are 15, 16 years old, they are they still want their father in their life. Um, they still want to know you're there, even when they're not there. Um, they want to know you're down the road, rather than thousands of miles away. But it's just making that decision... Um, whose happiness is it? Is it going to affect theirs in a big way? Or, you know, if they're off to university for the next two years, you're not really going to see them anyway? Or are you going to be um, affecting them in a negative way because they are they need that support for when they move into their first job, etc.? So it's something to consider. All right, thanks for watching.